Praise the Lord, everybody. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we all shall rejoice and be glad. And this is Pastor KD Sanders on KD's Inspire Media, an opportunity to share the real word with real people, dealing with real seasons in their life. And I thank God for you this morning. I thank God for you today, amen, for taking out the time on your social media website to be inspired by what God has placed upon my heart. Brothers and sisters, today I want to talk with you. I want to share with you a word that I taught today um, for a man of word with um, evangelist Delphine Lee out of Alabama. And the word that um, the Lord placed in my heart early this morning on the prayer call was titled, How Far Are You Willing to Go to Get What You Need? How Far Are You Willing to Go to Get What You Need? And we're going to go to scripture, um, Luke chapter 5, as you're finding that, Luke chapter 5, verse 18. The reason why God placed this on my heart this morning is because so many of us, we're in a place right now where there are some things that we need from God. There are some things that we're seeking in our lives. There are some provisions that have to be made. But I want to let you know that when you're seeking God for things, when, when you're expecting something from God, there's going to be some opposition. There's going to be some distractions. There are going to be some things that are going to come inside of your life that's going to try to distract your faith and make you think that you're not worthy to receive what God has for you, to make you think that God does not have what you need, to make you think that your prayers and your prayers it's not going anywhere. But in those seasons, that's when you increase your praise, increase your worship, and allow your faith to be activated. Amen? Faith is not by what we see, but it's by what we do not see. Amen? But what you can see is that there is some opposition in your life. There are some things that are taking place in your life. I mean, everyday things that can cause your mind to be distracted from what God is doing. But I want to share with you this passage of scripture coming from Luke chapter 5 of this man who saw many distractions, but yet he still met Jesus for what he need. He still had in his spirit that there is something that I need, and if I have to fight my way through, then I'm going to get what I need. That's amazing faith. How far are you willing to go to get what you need? Luke chapter 5, verse 18, it says, And behold, men brought in a bed, a man, a man which was taken with palsy, and they sought means to bring him in and to lay him, lay him before him. Verse 19 says, And when they could not find by what way they might bring him in because of the multitude, because of the large crowd of people, they went upon the housetop and let him down through the toweling with his couch into the mist before Jesus. So they went through the roof. It was a crowd of people. The man could not get to Jesus because there were so many people around. So what they did was they took the man on top of the house, on top of the roof, and they let him down through the roof just so he can get to Jesus. Wow, that's, a, that's some amazing faith, amen. And it's all so dangerous, but this man said, I'll do what I got to do to get my healing. Amen. Verse 20 says, and when he saw, when Jesus saw their faith, he said unto him, man, thy sins are forgiven thee. Verse 21 says, and the scribes and the Pharisees began to reason, saying, who is this which is speaking blasphemies? Amen. Who can forgive sins but God alone? But when Jesus perceived their thoughts, he answered unto them and said, what reason ye in your hearts, whether it is easier to say thy sins be forgiven? or to say, rise up and walk, okay? Amen. So there, there was some op opposition right there because instead of focusing on this man being healed, they focusing on the wrong thing and trying to stir up chaos and confusion. Brothers and sisters, when you're trying to get your healing, when you're trying to get your deliverance, there are going to be some people that's going to find something to say just to distract you, amen? But Jesus said, what, what is it better to say? Your sins are forgiven or rise up and walk. But either way, this man is going to be healed. I want you to tell yourself that no matter what I'm going through, either way, I'm going to get what God has for me. doesn't matter what people say about me. Either way, I'm going to get what I need because nothing shall stop God from doing what he has to do for you in your life. Amen. First, verse 24 says, but that ye may know that the son of God, amen, the son of man, hath power upon the earth to forgive sins. And he said unto the sick man, so he focused his attention back to the man that was sick. He spent some time with a distraction, but he went back to this man that was sick. I love it. He says, I say unto thee, arise and take up thy couch and go into thine house. Arise, take up thy couch and go into thy house. And immediately he rose up before him and took up, there within he lay and departed to his own house glorifying God, my God. He walked away from the situation and he walked in giving God praise, hallelujah, to his own house. He left the house that he was healed in and he went back to his old house. And brothers and sisters, the amazing thing is that he was healed. 
Verse 26 says, And they were all amazed, and they glorified God, and were filled with fear, saying, We have seen strange things. Brothers and sisters, God is going to do some strange things in this season of your life. You are in a strange place. You are in a strange season. You are in a strange area of your life. But I want to let you know that where there's a strange environment, there's going to be some strange faith. I want you to be able to fight through the multitudes. Whatever is in front of you, you keep on pressing. Whatever the enemy tries to put in before you, you keep on pressing. You keep on praising and you keep on worshiping. Amen. Because when you're expecting something from God, there's going to be a multitude of distractions. There's going to be a multitude of attacks. There's going to be a multitude of of things that are going to take place and they are only meant to distract you from believing what God can do. But in this season that you are in, in this season that I am in, we have to know that when God has promised something, then that shall it be. There shall be healing upon your life. There shall be provision upon your finances. There shall be peace upon your mind. Hallelujah. There shall be good things that shall flow into your life. Amen. There shall be restoration to every broken piece in your family. Hallelujah. There shall be provision of jobs for those who are jobless. There should be provision in your home, amen, for things that are lacking. Whatever you need, whatever you're seeking, amen, whatever you need from God, the Lord says, do not let the multitude stop you from seeking what you need from God today. Hallelujah. Bless God. Hallelujah. Do not let the multitude stop. No matter what's in front of you, you keep on pressing. If you got to go to the rooftop of your faith, if you got to go to the rooftop of your praise, the rooftop of your deliverance, you say, I'm going to do whatever I got to do, hallelujah, to get what I need. How far are you willing to go to get what you need? I don't know about you, but in this season that I'm in, I'm willing to go as far as I need to go because there's something that God has for me. Amen. This is Katie's Inspired Word. Amen. I pray that you are blessed by this today. Amen. I got to end this video because I'll go into a shout in a split second. I feel like it's Sunday morning. Amen. But I thank God for each and every one of you. Don't let things distract you. You keep on pressing and trusting God and believe what God can do. Feel free to visit my website. Amen. Right on the screen at www.mvogministries.com or my email at kdsemu at hotmail.com. I want you all to be blessed and have an awesome day today. Amen. And say, I'm willing to go as far as I need to go to get what I need. Why? Because the Lord has something in my life for me. God bless you.